And, and usually when we talk about these concepts in Six Sigma, or Lean Six Sigma, these are not things that you can just take you know, one time and then you can go away with it and use it. Okay? It's like riding a bicycle. You need to be able to practice it a while. So I'm going to take a, dif a different route in terms of what Brian did. Brian gave you all the technical stuff. Uh, the way I would like to position this topic would be more of how would you begin? How would you start? You, know, you can always apply all of these tools. But the question is, would you just go to your factory, go to your facility and just try these things? Okay? It's going to take a lot of effort and it's going to you know, make a lot of people angry. Okay? Nobody wants to just, uh, somebody comes to your office, your facility, your process and then just play around with it. So I'd like to talk about how do we begin to apply all of these concepts. Okay? So the title of this topic is about understanding what we call the SIPOC and the value stream map. So before we begin, can I have a show of hands please? Uh, how many of you are actually into or have been doing some bit of Lean or Six Sigma? Good, so at least this is not new for you. Okay. How many of you are about to start or uh, haven't gone into it but would like to go into it? Okay, okay a few. So that means I can speak a little bit more in terms of um, what it has been, uh, what it was able to do for me and maybe what it can do for those who are going to start about it. Now this morning, actually I just came from a, what we call a moving up day. My second son recently graduated from kinder. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, Beng, by the way, is my Kumares. That's why she's the number one supporter. Now, moving up, moving up day is one of those very important uh, things that happens to a parent. But you get to see your child sing and dance with no shame. Okay? Until the, pers the, the child realizes that you, know, you don't have the talent later on. So, what happened this uh, moving up day this morning, I'm going to not mention the school anymore, um, was that we came in around 8 o'clock, actually 6, 7.30, and you know, it was chaos. I'm not referring to the children, I'm referring to the adults. Okay? It was chaos because nobody knows what's going on. Okay? Somebody asked the parents to line up here because the children are going to pass here. Then after a while, they said, oh, by the way, you can split up into two lines and then eventually they let us in. Okay? After three iterations of changing those procedures. And one of the parents said, wala ba proseso dito? Okay. So we always use the word process, 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 but people, do people really understand what that means? Okay. So I'm going to cover some basic ideas on my talk. I'm going to simplify it. For those who have done this, I hope you can relate. It's a, part, it's a part of sharing our experiences, and I'm hoping that we get to be able to laugh about the difficulties in trying to understand this very complex word called process. 